Congress continues to fail in providing another round of stimulus to Americans amid the pandemic. And White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows was resorting to some pretty flimsy excuses when he talked about it on CNBC. Let's hear what he had to say. As we've had discussions with Democrats on Capitol Hill, as we've continued our discussions with Republican senators, we're making real progress. And I will say that as we look at the number of things that we actually agree to and the and the amounts of money allocated to those areas, probably the biggest stumbling block that remains is the amount of money that would go to state and local help. The speaker is still at 950 billion dollars, which is just not a number that's based on reality and certainly not a number that represents the lost revenues for state and local governments. So let me be clear about what he's referring to when he talks about the funding for state and local governments. This would impact the unemployment benefits that the tens of millions of Americans who are currently unemployed would be able to rely on during this pandemic. You know, these are jobs that haven't come back yet. These are people who are desperate. Consumer debt, which doesn't include mortgage, was already incredibly high, over $4 trillion before the pandemic. Now the numbers are increasing because Americans are becoming increasingly desperate. They don't know what to do, so they're taking out these high interest personal loans and digging themselves into an even deeper hole that's gonna be impossible to get out of. And When Mark Meadows talks about state and local government, just understand they don't want to help you. Right now, Senate Republicans are considering what they're referring to as a $500 billion skinny stimulus. But that skinny stimulus, I guarantee you, will do little to help average Americans. They're talking about maybe one more direct payment check to Americans, something along the lines of what Americans got last time, which is about $1,200, depending on how much money or income you made last year. But again, that clearly isn't enough to help people pay their rent, put food on the table for their children, and keep them you know, above water during this pandemic. Yeah. Um- so look, the Republican Party has been guilty all along. Um, and so what uh, annoys me to some degree uh, lately is when people say, "Oh, you know, I, I realize now because of Trump, or, you know what what they're doing or uh, you know Trump is the is the exception, but you know, why does the Republican Party wake up? Wake up to what? They've been a hundred percent corrupt for my, Almost my whole life, you know, and and I get it if you were late to figuring that out, and and I was late to figuring it out. I grew up a Republican in in New Jersey, well, back when there were liberal Republicans. But guys, it's been 40, 50 years now. I mean, when has the Republican Party ever helped the poor or the middle class? All they ever do is help the rich. So when it was time for the first giant stimulus bill, it was a fat bill. Because 90% of it went to the largest corporations in the world. Now when it's time for you guys, all of a sudden it's a skinny bill. Funny how that works. But it's nothing new. This is exactly what the Republican Party has been doing for the last, you know, like I said, 40, 50 years. This redistribution of wealth. If You know what, honestly, even the camp that I belonged to a million years ago, the liberal Republicans, they also transferred wealth to the top. They just weren't as racist and they weren't sexist and 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 homophobic. That that doesn't exist anymore. Every single Republican is in that camp now. And they're all conservative Republicans now. There are no liberal Republicans left. So that you get the racism and helping the rich exclusively, all for the low, low price of only one Republican. It's the same package now. And so they're not gonna help you. And and every negotiation, the corporate Democrats at least bother to go through the pretense of trying to help you and they try to help you on the margins. Then they agree with the Republicans to give 80% of the money to the richest people and corporations in the world. And the Republicans go, no, 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 we want 99% of the money to go to the top corporations who all bribed us, I mean gave us campaign donations. And I just summarized American politics for you in the last 40 years. Yeah, yeah. I I think that it would be naive for anyone to expect any type of stimulus to go through, you know, 
anytime soon or if at all. And look, Trump has relied on unrest and chaos in the streets and he's latched onto that for his campaigning purposes. He might throw people some bones through executive orders as we approach election day. But understand that he's gonna do that to help him beat Biden. And on the other side, I mean, you can't get conservatives off television. You can't stop them from doing daily press briefings. I just, silence. I just feel like there's complete silence from Democrats. And they're allowing the right wing to run with whatever narrative they'd like, whether it has to do with responding to Black Lives Matter or the economic crisis that so many Americans are facing right now. And there's a political price to pay for that. And unfortunately, the political price that Democrats are gonna pay will negatively impact the rest of the country and our democracy. And it's frustrating and it, yeah. Yeah, so I have to say. Yeah, so look, um, there's an extra element of frustration here because um, progressives are actually willing able and really happy to kick Republican ass. Uh, but we're not allowed on TV. If you've noticed, um, since Bernie Sanders lost, there's been almost no progressives on any cable news program anywhere. Gone, wiped off the face of the earth. Because cable news only cares about power, they don't care about news. And so, and, and so now all there are is pathetic, weak Democrats left on air playing defense. I mean, did you see that Democratic convention? They barely touched Donald Trump. I mean, you're running against a fascist tyrant, and you none of the speeches were about how awful he is. You have you could have filled hours and days and weeks of how terrible Donald Trump is. Not nary a word on it. Feckless, weak Democratic Party. I'm scared to death that they're going to blow this election. Just get out of the goddamn way already, and let us tell the American people what the Republicans are actually about. By the way, thank you to all of you who support us in doing that. In fact, Ted Barcliffe, Lady Lola, and Joseph Funk just signed up on YouTube. You can do that by hitting the join button underneath. But guys, I didn't tell you how the story ends. So Republicans asked for 99% to go to the top 1%. Uh, and the Democrats say, no, 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 we want only 80% of all the money to go to the top 1%. And how does it end? It ends with usually 90, 90, 90 to 95% going to the richest corporations in the world, who just conveniently happen to give uh, campaign donations to both corporate Republicans and corporate Democrats. So that's how this game is played. It's played on you and against you. And, and that's exactly what's happening with these stimulus bills. It's just that in the era of Trump, they've just gotten more brazen. So they come out and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gave six trillion dollars to Fortune 500 companies, both through legislation and through the Federal Reserve, and that was a really fat obese bill. That was awesome. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Now, time for you. 20 million people are out, are out of work. Time for a skinny bill. Bootstraps. Corporations, they don't need bootstraps. They need government money, trillions of dollars of government money in so-called capitalism. But when it comes to you, you need bootstraps and you need to know the meaning of personal responsibility. If you're a corporate CEO, no, 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 personal responsibility isn't for you. Socialism is for you, we just take all the taxpayer money and give it to you. And so that's how this game is played and I'm sick of the Republican Party and I'm sick of the Democratic Party bowing their heads and losing to these monsters. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.